Hey, welcome back to the set, y'all. I am honored that you are here with me. Hey, today we're gonna be cooking on this brand new Blackstone pizza oven, y'all. Woo! Man, I've been waiting for this thing. I love pizzas, my kids love pizzas, my wife loves pizzas. I'm looking forward to a pizza party. I got two pizzas that I'm doing for you, two different doughs. One dough, it's got a mellow mushroom copycat recipe. The second pizza, hey, I'm just using just regular store-bought dough. If you're in a pinch, it works so nice and turns out so beautiful too. We're gonna make two awesome pies, two different doughs. It's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, guys, let's get some pizzas made. And again, I'm going pretty simple with this. Um, I'm just gonna do some pepperoni, ham, some banana peppers, onions, that kind of thing. So here is our dough. It has proofed quite a bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, so I'm just gonna take my paddle here and put it right there. Just a little bit of flour, put that down. All right, so we got our nice, lovely dough ball. Now, forewarning, we're gonna try to make this into a circle as best as possible. But also a forewarning, I am not a pizza expert. Uh, my man Vito, he's an expert. I would like for him to come show me how to make a pizza. But I do like pizza. I like the journey. Uh, I like making it. I like to see how it comes out and I like to taste it. Mellow mushroom dough, as you can see, it's got some molasses in it and it's kind of got a dark complexion to it, all right? Let's try to get this into a ball, y'all. It's already getting kind of thin right there. Let's use a rolling pin. Some people are probably gonna get upset for using a rolling pin, but uh, you know, I'm sorry. Got a big hole right there, gracious. If you get a hole, no big deal. Just pinch it, pinch it together, just like that. This pizza dough, it, I've, it's been relaxed for a while now. It's been proofing for a long time. It should be nice and stretchy. Um, it likes to resist a little bit. So, um, so yeah, we we got it ready. We got it going. I'm gonna kind of dust this a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of, uh, this is cornmeal, just a little bit of cornmeal. And we wanna kind of dust it just to make sure it'll fly off our stone or fly off our peel well. One word of caution is you do want to work fast so that um, it don't stick to the peel as, as good, all right? Pizza sauce, this is just some Rayo's pizza sauce that we're gonna go on here with. You can make your own pizza sauce. There's a lot of great recipes out there. Blackstone has a nice recipe on their site. Uh, so yeah, do whatever you like. I like Rayo's when I'm in a pinch. So cheese of choice, this is a gourmet pizza blend that I'm going with. It's got uh, mozzarella, white cheddar, smoked provolone, and Asiago. So I'm just gonna come in here just like this. And again, this is this is just simple. Get it from the get it from the grocery store, my standard grocery store. And you come home and you make some pizzas. I like diced ham, so I'm just gonna do some diced ham. I like bacon too. I don't have any bacon though. I love banana peppers. I love that brininess that I get when I sink my teeth into the pizza. Love, love, love. And I like a little red onion also. Okay. Yeah, baby. I'm also going to go with a few pepperonis. I like to kind of put the pepperonis kind of right here and then that oil just kind of drips on that other stuff. It's good groceries. And uh, I like to snack on. So we're just gonna come here. This is not a button. This is just where your battery is held. And so you just kind of push in, hear that clicking right there, and then you turn it. And there you go. That burner will get up real hot. And there's a safety feature in there that if it doesn't get to a certain point and you let off, the gas will stop flowing. So there you go. And we're gonna turn our turntable on. And there we go, we're gonna be ready for a pizza pie here in a minute. Because it has molasses in it, I wanna keep it kind of on about a 500 degrees, which is about on this left side right here. And then also have a, have a gun. So yeah, we're right there, right where we wanna be on that pizza stone. And again, it's right there at the left side of the black stone preferred cooking zone, okay? I wanna cut the turntable off just like that. And whenever you launch this thing, you want to kind of come in at an angle and you want to kind of place it about where you want it. And then you almost want to, just like that. Just a nice little, you got to kind of like that right there. Turn the turntable on. Now, let's see what we got. This might take about 90 seconds, 90 to 180 seconds. So we'll see. All right, guys, I believe 
this pizza is done. It's been about three minutes. It's gonna come in here. Oh my my. All right. There we go, there we go. Look at that dough. Nice and crispy. What do you say we give this a cut? Y'all ready? You ready to hear this? Ooh, yeah. Now, I like this one right here. Look at that cheese pull. And look at that, look at that airness. I can stick my whole finger in there. The dough looks like it's just cooked perfectly, y'all. This looks like it's gonna be a good pizza. Cheers. Mm. That's not bad. Mm. The crust, it's got a nice chew to it. Nice crunch for it. Hmm. Very good. Hmm. I was thinking I was gonna get some sweetness because of the molasses or whatever. You know, but I'm really not. Um good. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean look how easy that was. Put it on there, cut the turntable on, and voila. You don't have to turn it. You don't have to worry about the, you know taking a peel and going up and down, it just does it for you. We're gonna make a pesto and burrata pizza today on the Blackstone Pizza Oven. So you're probably wondering what burrata is. Burrata is fresh mozzarella, and inside of it, it's got like a, a gooey cheese. It's almost like a ricotta, but a little bit better, like real creamy. It, you burst it open and it's just got all kinds of goodness inside of it. Pesto and burrata pizza on the Blackstone Griddle, y'all. Hey, you won't wanna mess it. Let's get to cooking. I want this to be rather thin, okay? Just like it kind of thin. I like my pizzas on the thin side. I like to keep that air, those air bubbles. And this is a cool thing about making pizza at home, y'all, is you can do what you want. It's just fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, so I got our dough. It's ready. I want to make sure, you know, we don't, we're not getting any stickage. Put a little bit of flour down. I like to build my pizza on the pizza peel. Make sure it's nice, loosey, goosey. You might have company over. You want to make sure it's all pretty. Pesto. I think I have enough pesto. A little bit of pesto. A little bit of pesto goes a long way with me. So I'm just going to come in here and spread this around. Spread this around. Bring it to those edges. Man, I get this thing right here, I've had it, it's great. This is what I like to do also. I like to add a little bit of, uh, this is mozzarella and provolone. Um, you can do whatever, you can use whatever mix you want. I'm not putting a whole lot on here, just a little bit, okay? I really want the pesto and these tomatoes to kind of be the star, okay? So there we go, got about five tomatoes. Now, I like to take a little bit of good olive oil and we're just going to drizzle it around just like that. These tomatoes, yeah, you want a little bit of salt. It needs a little bit of salt. Always salt your tomatoes, state law. Let's go over to the pizza oven. Let's slide this thing in. Here we go. One, two. Launch it just like that, like that. If you notice, we're on this left side of this black stone zone, for what I like to say. That's going to give us about a 500 degree stone and it's perfect for this store-bought dough. It doesn't require a lot of high heat. I think we're about done here. Let's see where we're at. It's only been uh, two minutes and 40 seconds. Whew, got a little hot right over there, that real thin side. That's okay. Look at that bad boy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of pie. Look at that thing. Do we look alike? Pesto pizza's done. We gotta add the cheese, the burrata cheese. Uh, what I like to do first is I like to cut it first, okay? You hear that crust? Do you hear that crust? Man, this is the cheese right here. This stuff is like a ball. Whatever that stuff is inside, I would like to take a bath in it because um, it's really good. Pull it apart. You see that creamy, creamy cheese inside? 
I mean, it's like a prize inside, man. Gosh. So I'm just gonna come in here and lay a piece down like that. Lay a piece down like that. So, so good. Well, I mean, I gotta try it, right? Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man. Mm. A pesto. It's garlicky, herby. The crust just works so good. Look at that crust right there. It's so, so spot on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That burrata cheese, mm. so, so creamy. You want to try this pesto? Mm -hmm. You want to try something with that cheese? I'm going to try the pesto. Okay. Like so, it, baby girl's going to try something with just the pesto. See what you think. That's really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, going to eat all of that. <laughs> you going to leave all of that, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. When she says it's good, it's good. You should try it. You should try it. Y'all, hey, I appreciate you watching. Appreciate all your support. Make this pizza, y'all. You'll love it. I guarantee it. It's very easy. Use the store-bought dough. Use store-bought pesto. A tomato. Some cheese. And this burrata cheese. Woo! Stuff special. Check out this other awesome pizza video right here. I guarantee you'll love it.